So one of the things that people don't realize with with the whole pelvis is they think sitting is just sitting. Uh -huh. your, your butt's on the table and, and that's it. Uh -huh. What people don't understand is how the vestibular works in sitting. So when I take someone in, in this position or lots of times they have their, their legs you know off the table or they're flat. So right now I'm actually just testing your system. So as I touch gently, I'm just seeing how you respond A to my touch, but also can I, in a sense, push you over? So see right here, that's actually a force now. There's uh -huh. no way you're going to the left. Uh -huh. Okay? Do you see here? There's a little bit more, but not much. So in other words, I'm going to really force you. And this is another interesting thing about touch. Do you see right now how I can just kind of do this? See now to the right, look at the difference. Uh -huh. But here I'm kind of getting a little bit and I can go blah, 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 like a dance. What if I were to suddenly take you and just go like this? Do you see how engaged you get because I just went beyond your system? But that's a force. And I'm going to force you this way. So see this way? Your spine goes up here and you actually kind of bend. Do you feel that mm -hmm. here? Whereas here you kind of go over more from tipping from your pelvis. Does that make sense? Yeah. So, so there's two things that people look at the stability of the lower back. Now, a lot of people look at the roundness of the back or the, the arch into here. Yeah. That arch is going to be different for every person or that might be not there at all. If someone's a scooter, you're going to see where this is very, very rigid. The muscle's been built up for just since they were infants. You know when they scoot across the floor like in this position and sitting yeah. because they can't get into crawling? Um, uh -huh. If they've crawled or if not, and, and now what I'm doing here is I'm just pushing forward. Now I'm noticing two things. Now again, you see how you want to, in a sense, resist me. And resist means you, your body has no idea what I'm asking it to do, so it just stops. But also too, just this little bit, so feel how when I touch the vertebrae and I just push up, do you feel how the neck's not growing? Feel that? And it really wants to stop right, right through here. Now, I honestly can feel that. When I go like this, I can feel right there, right in the upper thorax that, you know. So now if I went like this, feel the, there we go. Feel now the spine yeah. just grew. And since that's new to you, I hang out. You haven't breathed in this position in a long time. You haven't. And then I bring back. So now just that little bit, feel the difference now? Uh, the left side versus the right even. Here the right, yeah, so now I yeah. could even go like this. And this is where it's different. When you're working with a cognitive adult, I can kind of talk you through it. Now here you can feel below the lower shoulder blade. So now I'm going to come back. There we go. So what's interesting that's just happening, and this is where, like I said, I want to look at the bone. So if I go like here, and I'm just, right here is just under the sit bones. Mm -hmm. Feel two here, I can't lift you. Yeah. And it's not because of weight, you get to about, it's the same thing. I can't knock you forward, I can't do anything like that. Mm -hmm. And if I go this way, I can again see how your vestibular system, and this way it's different. But believe it or not, all of these subtleties, like here when I bring the pelvis down to the floor, and that's what this is, I'm actually trying to pull the, the pelvis through the iliac down into the floor, rotating from side to side. But this is walking. So if I have things here, like see, I don't see feel the movement in your lower back. So even in this position, I can tell that your walking can be difficult or you're using muscles you don't need to. But what's interesting when you take a child that has special needs, just going over the pelvis, just this little bit, what needs to happen is the, the, uh, the chin needs to start to pronate. So by doing that, they will be like... Yeah, even in this position, I should go on this side, just, just that, even just this, 
So I'm right here, right in the upper vertebrae, just bringing the head forward. See how the head wants to be supported to keep the horizon with the eyes. So if a child has, let's say, delays or the extension's not there, you're going to get this. And then they're going to want to fall down mm -hmm. because they don't have the muscle structure. Now, this is where muscles come into play that shouldn't because people think it's the muscles that hold the sitting up. Mm -hmm. But it's the spine. It's the spine just that difference from here to, I'm going to be heavy on you, mm -hmm. to going like this. Uh -huh. Feel the difference? Yeah. For every inch that the adult head goes forward, something like this, for like osteoporosis, it's an extra 10 pounds oh. on the system. However, what, what I have found, it's working sometimes countless hours into the lower SI joint, so that's why I'm right here. My, my fingers are touching um, sort of the, the vertebrae. I'm over here as well as to lower back with these fingers. But the thumb in relationship from the left hand underneath is going through the SI joint down. And again, my touch is sort of like, um, I, I think of like when you're putting crust on a pie when you're just getting that pat. Mm -hmm. And it, I'm just putting in the, the stimuli, so from that I can see if there's any changes. And there's a little, but not much. And now I'm going to go on this side. And there's already more on this side. See, more so an adult, I can go, okay, now the right side's doing this. Let's show the left side. Doesn't always happen, but chances are pretty good. So what I'm doing here now is on both sides of the S jaw joint, and you see how that made just already a reaction to you? Mm -hmm. So, and I'm just going in to touch from both sides. I still, am, I've got my hand secure around the, the pelvic, but I'm still, the, my concentration's in the SI. And also notice too, right there, especially on this side, do you feel how the bone is much harder on this side than it is here? Yeah. So I have just learned I really keep a mental note on the tonus. I know you can say, oh, you can't tell ton you can't change tonus in a bone. Trust me, I can. There. Now that's the first where I'm starting to lift you. Yeah. And also bringing back down is very important. See how the tailbone is going down just as much equally as I'm starting to lift uh. the spine. You really want to make sure there's a neutral quality. Am I going up? Am I going down? I'm not moving you in any way, shape, or form where I'm going to put, um, I'm instilling any kind of fall or protective responses. Just from just this bit now, look at the difference now how I can move you from side to side. And now you can still feel down here where there's things I need to work on. But just quote that release. Look at the difference now in just the twish. We technically don't have tails, but they, they're there for balance. They're there to wag. They're there to form direction. So now in this way, now this is where it's a little politically incorrect with adults. But I'm showing you just to more so for you to understand with your son. So I'm right underneath here. Obviously the tailbone would be going down or the coccyx into here. So I'm right into this side. Now watch me do sort of the same thing. See now here. Notice the difference how you grow long here. Mm -hmm. I go down like a half an inch and you don't grow long. Mm -hmm. So that's where I go, hmm. So I go back to where you're more successful and go up, and now I'm going to go back down again, and there you go. See now, I can get lower with that kind of movement. 
Now at this point there too, more so with your son and whatever, this is where too you can add to the complexity of just having like, no, don't, don't get it, keep it soft, because he's, you know, and just okay. feel the difference, see, of how just to shift the weight over to the hand. Yeah. And that's how you start bringing back. Those are all those things I've been, and so then you can go here, feel the, the difference there. Mm -hmm. Even the organization of the shoulder in that position. Now I can do something like this to make it more complex where I'm pulling on the elbow. And then come out here and pull, you know. So, but right now I'll go back to concentrating just on, but already the difference, yeah. Feel the difference yeah. from the right now to the left? Mm -hmm. Also notice too, look at how soft that bone is in there. Do you feel that already? Yeah. So now look at the difference I can lift. Now, now I'm lifting here, it's just starting to happen the arch into the back. But I'm going to want to go over my on the left side first and to do that. The right side will always be different from the left side. Right handed mostly, big word. Yeah. The right lung is larger than the left lung. The heart's not symmetrical. There are tons of things that make the left different yet similar to the right. In a lot of cases, the left leg is the standing leg. Here, I'm just on this side, decided to pull in the iliac just to see if I can uh, facilitate quicker changes through the pelvic region. There we go. So now I go back to this. Feel how the tonus, how the head is getting freer on the spine. Uh -huh. What just happened here is the first sign that you're twisting. Do you feel that? Yeah. Feel how all the back muscles are changing as the bum gets more secure in just sitting. Feel just there how the back's starting to grow. Now I'm right in the hip joints. <laughs> wow. So now again, because I just did that, I go back. Mm -hmm. People think that I keep doing the same movement. Uh -huh. It's not the same. You've just changed. Yeah. So yeah. now I have to go back, now that the hips have kicked in more, and go back and show, okay, now how does this tailbone go with, there we go. And so again, I go back, and now I can go this way. Now you can feel now how white. Look mm -hmm. at that. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Also, this is where I'm a big You'll see fan. this with the babies. For every cause, there's a reaction, okay? It's a law of minimum physics. So when I'm going into the pelvic region here, see how the head just goes boink, a boink, a boink? Uh -huh. You're a fluid being. I should get this kind of movement. Now, is there issues that I still need to work in to make that even nicer? Absolutely. 
However, now my touch is going through your system. The knees, the head. See how you counter steer? I go this way, I go this way, and the head just automatically self corrects. Okay? And look at the life experience you're getting in sitting. So I don't have to get your son to walk necessarily to start working on his vestibular system in this way. So now. See, now bringing you backwards is a different conversation. Ah, see how I can't even twist you backwards here. So here, feel the difference? Yeah. So feel the difference here. So now you're really starting to see where the torque somewhere in the spine is not sure of itself. So I'm going to come right over in here. I'm on the floaters. And I'm just holding Also, what's not happening is you don't feel the rotation through the shoulders. It's very subtle, but I'm going to go around the other side. There you go. See how the shoulders want to rotate? Yeah. Feel here? Mm -hmm. So that's where a lot of people would have the chronic muscle tension through here with the neck. So I'm actually going to put my arm here and across. See how I have the whole system secured? Mm -hmm. My intentions is just through the vertebrae. Just that little bit. I'm going to hang out, let you breathe, and then come back down again. And then again to see if it's any different. And then I'm going to go back here. So there we go, the difference. So now I'm getting to this spot here, that was when I went through the extension on the right. So what I'm doing here is I'm actually torquing the rib cage. So I really don't have a concern just yet on how the shoulder blades and the scapulas are going to slide on the chest cavity. I'm getting in so I have my up one hand higher than the lower, so when I do twist there's going to be a torque. So now with all of that, I can go back first. See now how oh, yeah, the, the shoulders are starting to float off the spine. But I haven't dealt with them just yet. But the spine is starting to separate from the shoulder cavity. Also too, look at how much lighter you feel. Mm -hmm. See when the skeletal system starts to function, I'm not quote lifting hundred and some pound person. Now this is where I don't have enough hands, but I want the spine to bend, so I'm going to use my head. And now I'm working on the, the torque of the vertebrae. Now these vertebrae here, they get attached to the pelvis to ligaments, usually to about the height of where my thumb is. So if my thumb, my hands cross the pelvis wherever my thumb can go up, usually that's where the ligaments attach to the pelvis into the lower lumbar. So that's why it's really important to me to hold the whole system. There we go. So now you get an extension up through that one. It's quite windy up there too. It is. We got a baby. Any necks? No, I'm just kidding. My back is going there. <laughs> there we go. Feel that was the first twist off oh. the pelvis. Do you feel it? Yeah. So now technically I should be, let's see. I can just about, let's see, woof, there we go. So now, there. Let's see how, look at that, I'm taking you off my table. You're not going, ah, uh-huh. 
because you're on your vestibular system. There we go. See, look at what I'm doing though to keep you safe. My arms are across you. I've got you around your belly. I'm Ooh, doing you this. Some, that's probably why you're crying because you need to be changed. <laughs> so I'm totally. If I just did this, now I don't mean to whatever I'm doing, look at the difference. I mean, I have you, uh -huh. you know? There we go. Oh, there we go. Now the circle. So it is just as important to go, see I did circles to the right or to the left, and now go, yeah, you can feel the difference. Don't do that. But that's okay. So over to the right and over to the left. So now the next conversation could be about crossing midline. Do you know what I mean? Or or go up and reach for a toy. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Or reach for a toy. Reach for a toy. Reach for a toy. So, but see That's how the tailbone now? Boom, yeah. Boom, 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 uh, boom. Just knows where it's going. It's right. a real important body feature. It's there for a reason. It uh, really gets overlooked. Yeah. A lot of oh, people yeah. go into the hip tightness and all this, but I'm telling you, if you get this to mm -hmm. integrate better, then all of this is just icing on the cake. Mm -hmm. But as your son changes his vision, I go back to doing this. As he changes the way he holds his head, I go back to doing this. As he changes the way he starts to reach for his side. Uh -huh. So now like that, we'll go that again, putting the hand over here. Uh -huh. You know, see how that's already changed. Yeah. How you apply pressure, or if uh -huh. I go like this to the hand. There we go. Now I can get the, the oh, wrist to rotate around the pelvis. Yeah. So tighten your hand. So feel the difference? Oh yeah. So as the hand releases, see? Mm -hmm. And that's the ability to suddenly go up on all fours because the wrist is integrated with the pelvis. Does that make sense? Yeah. Oh well, yeah, and I see it on my arm. Oh, change yeah. <laughs> so what do you think? Oh, oh this is Now good. walk around and feel that one. 